Yes, friends, Chalella and Carney Floral Designs is alive and well in Newcastle. Owner and designer Stephen Doherty and his staff have a special motto. We love what we do, and it shows in every area of the business. Stop by their pleasant Southside store at 1006 South Mill Street. Chalella and Carney has been there for the community with quality and service since 1943. You can go to the website, chalellaandcarney.com, or call 724-652-8412. You deserve a revitalization at Mary Turner's Day Spa and Beauty Boutique. The staff will make sure you relax and rejuvenate with their high-quality products and services. They take pride to give you a tranquil environment. Mary Turner's Day Spa at 2539 Wilmington Road in New Shanick Township. Call to book a spa appointment at 724-657-657. 5156. That's 657 5156. Grill on the Hill 2419 Wilmington Road has a fantastic atmosphere and a great menu. If you're hungry, it's the Grill on the Hill. They have breakfast favorites from omelets, eggs, and pancakes, burgers, salads, soups, subs, and more. 724 856 3181. 724-856-3181. The Branding Iron Bar and Grill, a great place to gather. Some examples from the menu, 45 cent jumbo wings with 30 different kinds of sauce, meatball sub and fries, 550, hot cheese balls and burgers, and delicious large sandwiches. Stop in during happy hour, 430 to 730. You can dine in or take out. The Branding Iron Bar and Grill is located at 2221 Ben Franklin Highway, Edinburgh. Call 724-658-1210. Whether it's a scheduled appointment or same-day service, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning offers 24-7 service for commercial, industrial, and residential, as well as fire and water damage restoration. Using state-of-the-art technology, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning experts are ready to professionally clean your carpet today. Call DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning for a free in-home estimate. Thank you for making us Lawrence and Mercer County's largest carpet cleaner. And remember, nobody gets your carpet cleaner. Did that did it did that did it did it did that did it did that did it did it did that did it did that did it did it did that did it baby come home to me did that did it did it I saw my baby a telegram asking to be the man back to you come back home to me. Good morning and welcome to the morning show. A little later today. Yeah. <laughs> See, I always work on fooling you. I told you it was going to be later in the week, but I decided to sleep in, run the morning show later. You could do that when you're the guy in charge. <laughs> and do you remember Marisha? Marisha Torres, right? Yes. I said it all right. <laughs> that's that. That's a special award, you know. Uh, you know, wow, what a be beautiful weather we've been having. Yeah, it has really been wonderful. We've been uh, lucky this summer. Yes. The grass is a little brown, but uh, <laughs> everything else is warm. And uh, it's Wednesday, August 3rd, and summer has seemed to just slide away from us. Yeah. Have you been having a great summer? I've been having a really good summer, yeah. it's been It's been great, so... You know, you told us a little bit about yourself last time. Why don't you tell us about some of your art? Because, and I do want to say, I saw you at Arts on the River Walk. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, go ahead. Um, well, I, uh, I do portraits. I do mixed media portraits, and um, I take in commissions whenever I can. And I like to do local people as well as... Um, well, yeah, it's pretty much just local people that I'm doing portraits of, and uh, that's that's about it. That's absolutely fantastic. Now, you know, at this time, we always get to the birthday list and who's joined us. And, you know, the one thing that kind of impresses me or shouldn't impress me, usually we have these big, long birthday lists. But... 
apparently, today, not a whole lot of people have a birthday. <laughs> There's only three. <laughs> so, boy, celebrate like heck. Ben Jones, as Ashley Patrick, Carol Ludovici Stone. Make sure you get that second cup of coffee and an extra piece of birthday cake. And you know, I, it, it's just uh, it's just one of those things that we're actually up to date with the birthday list on the real day <laughs> that it's your birthday. And I already sent those birthday requests out, so you're seeing it on the air and seeing it right here on NCTV 45. Now, Duke Morosky, thanks for your kind comments. And uh, Carol, thank you. James, as we get to the mailbag. Michael McCart, so formal. Yes, sir, thank you. <laughs> and um, Michael McVeigh, thanks for joining the NCTV45 family. And, uh, you know, Newcastle's number one media source. And do you know what the number of viewers has risen to? Watching us through all these different media, I told you. Yeah, <laughs> and I can't believe it. It's high. <laughs> 190 plus thousand. Wow. You know, uh, thanks. And apparently you are telling a friend about NCTV 45. Mm -hmm. What do you got that's going on this week? Well, uh, Dr. Mental <laughs> sent in, um, as part of the Belladonna Inn series, um, Art Summer Art series, um, there's going to be a local comedian present, Johnny Dam. I believe I'm saying that right, D-A-M. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, he's going to be hosting a... Um, it's going to be discussing the art and crafting of a joke, uh, the different types of stand-up humor and um, the journey it takes to become a professional comedian. He's also going to be showing a viewing of Jerry Seinfeld's Comedian, the documentary about Jerry Seinfeld. Um, snacks will be provided, and, uh, and you can bring um, your own bottle if you care to drink, and uh, suggested donation is at $5. Now little information on the Belladonna Inn. Were you aware that we had a lieutenant governor of Pennsylvania right here? No, I was not aware. Now, I have developed uh, an appreciation mm -hmm. for the architecture and the way some of these old houses look. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you know, the, the new houses are great. Don't get me wrong. But these old houses really have some lines that are unique, different, custom work. They were like ahead of their time thinking with these dumb waiters and everything yeah. that worked. And um, while at one of the meetings over at the Confluence, I wandered up to the... Belladonna Inn. Now, it's not that far to wonder. All you do is, when you go up Mercer Street, and you get right to the top, and I believe that's Wallace Avenue. Mm -hmm. Right on the corner there, on the right, was this old gray house. And these folks came from California and started fixing it up. And making it a bed and breakfast. Mm -hmm. Now, me and my kids got the opportunity to go in. Oh, my goodness, is it amazing. They um, fixed up the whole room. And, and, you know, if you ever watch some of the other, like the Food Network, or they have these little, um, I don't know what to call them, like coves or... Uh, Places where there there's like a patio and it's like a cobblestone brick, oh, and they're okay. they're like grilling there or they're in a house and well they did this with this and they serve like these holistic type foods that I you know with me any food is healthy. 
healthy. <laughs> <laughs> French fries got to be healthy. You know, who doesn't That's why eat it takes so good. You know? <laughs> it, it, but they serve these things, and it's absolutely phenomenal. They've had teas, and I guess that's the up-and-coming thing to have a tea. Um, they've had different type of meetings and events there, and it's really becoming a thing. Mm -hmm. So go up, take a ride on Wallace Avenue, go to the Belladonna Inn, tell them NCTV 45 sent you. Now, you know, I don't know if our guy behind the glass fell asleep at the switch. Usually he tells us how much time we have left, but he didn't this time. <laughs> so uh, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. On Friday, August 12th, it's the Lawrence County Veterans Stand Down at the Armory Frank Avenue, Newcastle from 2 to 6 p.m. This event is for homeless veterans, service members and their families, homeless civilians, and the public. Going on will be health screenings, haircuts, and entertainment. Giveaways include clothing, shoes, hygiene products, special information, free lunch, and more. If you'd like to volunteer, donate, or be a vendor, contact M. Russell at lccap.org or call 724-658-7200. Nina, Robin, and the rest of the family would love for you to experience the high-quality cuisine at their restaurant, Nino's 2 Tomato. Some examples you've got to try would be the chicken parm, chicken wings, calamari, pasta, pizza, a wide variety of salads, and so much more. The wine and beer selection is excellent, and the staff really knows how to serve you. Food lovers come from all over the region to enjoy Nino's. They're located at 2409 Wilmington Road in Neshannock Township. Call 724-658-3380. This program furnished by the MAD Unit, Mobile Auto Detailing. See Michael Sad at themadunit.com. The Pokeberry Exchange at 41 North Mercer Street has gifts galore that'll make you want to explore. Lamps, homemade lamps of every shape and color that will excite any room in your house. Wind chimes hang from the door to give that sweet sound. Sweet soaps and teas, embroidered towels, and much more. It's the Pokeberry Exchange. It's yours to explore. Not one, not two, not three, but four brothers. Urban Bistro. It's where you want to go for your next dining experience. Here are just a few of the many choices on the menu. Char-grilled filet mignon, char-grilled salmon filet, chicken over rice, Icelandic cod, chicken marcella, and ask about the saku tuna, veal, and the surf and turf. Follow them on Twitter and Facebook for daily specials. Hours are Monday through Thursday, 11 to 10, Friday 11 to 11, and Saturday 4 to 11. Four Brothers, located 331 East Washington Street, downtown Newcastle. Call 724-656-4980. If you're having a party, then Keystone Specialty is the place you need to go. Yes, they have every party supply that you can imagine. Planning that wedding, that graduation, or maybe it's just that big game that's coming up. Go to Keystone Specialty. Party supplies and so much more. Remember, they have those fall decorations, winter, spring, and summer. It's Keystone Specialty on the south side of Newcastle, Mill Street. Here we are. Yeah. Uh, you know. It might seem crazy. We don't want to get into this thing. Yeah. She's here. Song of the day. So, um, here you go. Now, all we want is the name of the song, the artist, title, and year that it was popular. So... Now, that's it. You don't need too much more than that. She, she, I get she's it. She's an ace on that. <laughs> now it's time for a conference call. Okay. Okay. Now this is going to be tricky. So you're going to learn more than you ever wanted to do a, know about sports. <laughs> <laughs> and you why? You what a sports guy I am. <laughs> now... The Georgia Bulldogs, mm -hmm. they are a member of what conference? Georgia? 
Yeah. <laughs> Think about where it is. Um, Atlanta. Yeah, they're in Atlanta, but geographically. Geographically. Um, okay, south, east. <laughs> Very good. Wow. Check that out. See, she got that before you. That's why she's co-hosting here. You know? So um, what else is happening in the world of Lawrence County? Well, we got some fun stuff going on here. Uh, the Elliptica Belly Dance um, hosts a family drumming and dancing session this Friday, August 5th, um, from 6 to 7 at the Two Rivers Artisan Cafe, uh, Cafe, Coffee Works at um, 11 South Mill Street, Newcastle, PA. And what it's going to be is, let's see, it's... Like they host, uh, Elliptica holds um, weekly dance, belly dancing classes and uh, for downtown Newcastle and this time they're going to be hosting it at uh, the Two Rivers Artisan Coffee Works. You, you know, what's really nice, they were here and they danced on the Riverwalk stage right outside our facility and we broadcast that live. And um, first of all, if you've never been to Two Artisan, coffee you have to go yes it is truly the best coffee you'll ever drink I there it's you know and I'm not saying that because they were once a home of NCTV 45 <laughs> we were born out of two rivers artisan coffee um, in that we when there was nowhere else to go we broadcast from there all the time maybe we'll have to do a live show from there um, but Anastasia Constance has spent a lot of time with this. Matter of fact, when uh, my daughter had a birthday, uh, we had the party right over here on North Street. And um, I, I, I remember the, the name, but it escapes me because they have a name for the, the room and it's right next to uh, the Hurricane Grill. And Anastasia came and gave belly dancing lessons to the girls mm -hmm. during the birthday party. So it was, it was really, really great. And um, now it's time for you to get Another sports trivia question. Because oh, okay. she, she got it right last time. And <laughs> you know what? <laughs> now, this is going to be a little different. Go ahead. What three Chicago Cubs players were immortalized by Franklin P. Adams, by the Franklin P. Adams poem? Baseball. And I don't know what that is. Sad lexicon. Now... I let her read it because I don't even have a clue. Yeah. <laughs> you know, all I know is that the Cubs have won for a long, long time. <laughs> Joe Tinker, Johnny Evers, and Frank Chance. The famous Tinkers to Evans to Chance double play combination. During the toughest... They played together in 1906 and 1909. That's why I don't know. Yep. And they actually had 54 double plays. Now, um, it's time for what I call the Cedar Sports Corner, where I get to say who's where and what they're doing. Well, the Pittsburgh Pirates, they are in Atlanta. And maybe they should go for a Coke on Peachtree Street, some barbecue because right now they're not playing real good baseball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And if, if you're not going to do play real good baseball, go out and get something to eat. Just <laughs> forget about it. Now, they can't go to Cedars. They're too far away. And uh, what's really scary, and I don't know if I can deal with this. I'm going to have to maybe get an extra cup of coffee. Cleveland. The Indians are in first place. Now, they hadn't won a championship in 50, 46 years, a long, long time. The Cavs won, and now all of a sudden the 
the Indians are imitating a league-leading mm. team. And uh, that game's at 12 o'clock. So uh, if you leave now, you can get up to the lake, catch a suntan, watch the game. Maybe not a bad idea. And then we could tell you what to do when you come home. <laughs> but that was the Cedar Sports Corner. And, you know, I just don't say stop by Cedars for some great food. I stopped there. And last night was burger night. Nice. And I built my own burger. You <laughs> bet your sweet bippy. It was, it was awesome. Then I had to give half to my son because he eats more than me. I, you know, something's wrong there. So um, stop by Cedars. That was the Cedars Sports Corner. And hey, tonight, our specialty the Cedars Sports Corner focuses on North County baseball and it's playoff time. And they they honored two great older gentlemen mm-hmm. up at Flaherty Field. So kind of watch it. It's kind of special and it's kind of nice. Now uh, we're going to take a break. And who, who are we going to hear from? Well, sponsors. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be right back. Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Hello folks, Angelo Parada for Ferrone Brothers. Wow, you have to try their food. Great Italian food and two locations on the south side on Mill Street and on Wilmington Road in Newcastle. Ferrone Brothers for pepperoni rolls, pizza, any Italian dish that you can imagine. Okay, and a whole lot more. It's Ferrone Brothers. Stop by, they have those daily specials and they look forward to seeing you. Tell them NCTV45 sent you. On Target Printing, 1319 West State Street, no job is too big or too small. Turn around on most jobs, 24 hours. We make you look good on paper. Town and country where there's always a party. Yes, every weekend there's something to do. And there's always great food for you too. Lamb, finger food, steak sandwiches, broasted wings, and much, much more. It's a party and you're invited. Come to town and country. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Welcome back. Here we are. And, you know, we're just motoring along so very quickly. And, you know, we didn't give them, we have to let them hear this again. So I just move it through. See, I'm getting good at the button so you don't get the lyrics in there and try to cheat. That was the song of the day. And uh, so what do you got going on? We got a lot of fun stuff happening at Newcastle Public Library. Let's see. We've got On Your Mark, Get Set, Explore, Science Discoveries with Miss Barb, geared for grades 1 through 6, and that's going to be on... June 15th, so we're kind of past that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Here's this one. Ah, here we go. Okay, yeah, we've got a lot of good stuff. We've got Stay Calm and Color at 9 a.m. Don't you love that name? Stay Calm Don't, and Color. Whoever covers colors like nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I just, That's true. Oh, you know what? I, I got to be nervous. <laughs> you know? 
very intense coloring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that is every Tuesday throughout the month of August. Stay calm and color, not frustrating color. <laughs> We have Mother Goose at 10 a.m. on Wednesdays, and we have, let's see, Family Fun Time at 10 a.m. on Fridays. There so, you go. So, a lot of good stuff going on at the library. And you can book it on over to the library and uh, find out about a lot of great things. Uh, I like the library. You know what? I found out, now I don't recall, and I have, I'd have to look, but... Do you know they have feature-length movies at the library? I did know that, actually. You know, I'm like... That's wonderful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You can come down. There's not, like, a large crowd. You can watch the movie, get something, cup of coffee, something, dessert, and just make, like, this calm night of it. And you get away really, really cheap. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know... Here's the thing, I got to tell you, when you come down, it's very picturesque because there's nobody else around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're a really rather calm place in the evenings down here. And, uh, now, the Durrells, where will they be this weekend? Villa Maria, class reunion. Now, the Villa Class Reunion, it doesn't actually doesn't say Villa Maria, but it says Villa Class Reunion. But Villa Maria used to have a school, so I don't know if that's, and they didn't put it, so shame on Jim Lombardo, if it's at the Villa or it's at Villa Maria. Mm. Um, so call Jim, holler at him. But... <laughs> They are going to be down in Wampum for the gazebo concert on Sunday. And uh, just a little heads up. Do you know what's going on in Wampum this weekend? It's their Wampum homecoming. Oh, wow. So they have, like, activities on Friday. And then on Saturday... They have, um, oh, and I forgot, it was right on the tip of my tongue. Uh, they have a, a, a wide range of um, activities for the day. And then the next day is the gazebo concert. But they have like a picnic on the main street and uh, just all kind of fun stuff like that. So fun things down in Wampum. And... Uh, I'm waving to the mailman because we never, this is a different schedule for us, so just leave me alone. You know, now, the weather, and I don't even need that. I already know about Crane Room 45 weather. And the word for the next two days is hot. Like last night's overnight low, 66. Today, 91. It's been that kind of summer. <laughs> Tonight, 66. Tomorrow, 91. So you got two warm days, Wednesday and Thursday. It's too hot to cook, so head down to the St. Vitus Bazaar. Get some pasta vizol, some good, healthy Italian food. I checked it. It's all healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it'll be utterly fantastic. And... Uh, I'm going to stop down because it's food. <laughs> there Maybe you go. <laughs> now, you know, we're going to take this brief time out. And when we come back, how to be your wife's best friend. And a little helpful hints. So uh, stay calm, color, drink your coffee. And we'll be right back. If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV 45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. 
NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Let Clark's Furniture be your go-to destination for all of your furniture needs. Check this out. Seven-piece bedroom by Ashley was $38.69, sold for $27.99. Great pricing on futons made by the Coaster Company. Wind Furniture made in America. Great quality. Sofa sold for $547, chair only $397. Seven-piece queen bedroom set by Vaughn Bassett, all American made. These are just some of the super deals at Clark's Furniture. Located at 346 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-657-5668. Look what you'll find at Paul D. Weller Hardware. Lawn and garden supplies, plumbing and electrical supplies, do-it-yourself items, pipe bending, window screen, and key making services, tools of all kinds, paint, fans, ladders, rodent traps, bug spray, and that's just some of what you'll be able to purchase at Paul D. Weller Hardware at 207 North Liberty Street in the Mahoningtown section of Newcastle. Call 724-652-1531. We are in work through our first like official show. This is like, and you know, it's exciting. Yes. Now we got to get some helpful hints. So I defer to Marisha. To be your fried fish's friend. Try saying that five times fast. <laughs> <laughs> to keep fried fish from sticking to um, your skillet, make sure to put a little bit of salt down first, and. Look, is that is now your fried fish's friend? Exactly. <laughs> see, that's a little tricky. Uh, I'm going to give you how to be your wife's best friend. And you know, some of the times, you know, when you tell her to ride a bike, she's going to like think, "Well, geez, does he think I'm fat or what?" <laughs> you know. So you have to use your head on these a little bit. Ask her more questions and follow-up questions. That's sure to get you in trouble. The more questions I ask, the more trouble I get in. So I don't know about that one. That's uh, on you. Act as, actively support her decision she makes with children in front of the children. Okay. <laughs> Make both sides of the bed. Don't make the bed with her in it. <laughs> Listen, you want to be your wife's best friend. We have these fantastic restaurants. Crane Room. Mm -hmm. Cedars. Big Pauly Sports Bar. Take her to one of the things we're telling you about here that are going on in the county and make it a date night in the middle of the week. And then... You could say, hey, I saw that on NCTV45. But you might not want to give her all the information, but let her watch NCTV45 <laughs> too. Because she might like that. And you might get a nice dinner out of it with cooking a castle. You know, or she might hit you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's going to do it, except, except it's the song of the day. And I'm going to play it, and then Marisha's going to tell you about it. Okay, go ahead. That is Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones. I believe that was in 1968. Yes, sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And uh, we hope that you have a great Wednesday. And, you know, it's, you know what I tell everybody every day? Tell a friend about NCTV45. They'll be glad you did. And make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you in the morning.